my god. Oh! <laughs> G'day guys, we are here. Lake Euron, home of extra oversized freshwater fish. Giant Murray Cod. This place is not so much renowned for fish in length, but these fish are just built different. They are, once they're even over a meter, they are built different. So anywhere in those meters, meter tens, meter twenties, Ridiculous fish, so we are here to try and tick off that ridiculously sized Murray Cod for me. My bucket list fish. So, chatting to Chris, the deal for him has been big fish means big baits. Big Murray Cod lure. It's an 11 inch soft plastic. So what I did on the way down here, knowing very well that I was possibly going to catch the fish of a lifetime for me. Not saying I won't be able to beat this fish ever. <laughs> But at the moment, the chance is I'm going to encounter the fish of my lifetime, Murray Cod was. And I really wanted to make this even more special to have the tackle that I've always sort of aspired to owning my whole life. So on the way here, at one tackle shop I stopped at, I bought myself the new Calcutta Conquest 400XG. This thing is beautiful. Check out those big double power handles, big long arm. One of the other reasons for getting or wanting the 400XG was it's 101 centimeters, so over a meter per crank of the handle. So every time I crank that handle, that's a meter of line. Why that's important, you mess up a cast, you short cast, a fish turns on the cast, I can retrieve my little back to me within seconds and send it back out there like, if, if I encounter the fish of a lifetime for me, I do not want to be messing around. I want to be on that fish and catch that fish. So that's first purchase on the way down here. So a very long drive, so get ready. I stopped in in uh, Wedonga, grabbed the G Loomis IMX Pro, the only one they had. Knowing we'll be throwing massive baits. Big baits are only big baits and they're only heavy to cast if you don't have the right tackle. I've never owned a Loomis, I've never owned a Calcutta and always aspired to at one point in my life to own one. So this combo has basically just been purchased to catch the fish in my dreams, that's all. So I'm very excited about that and I don't mind if I only use this rod and reel once a year but it, I want it to be my big fish, trophy fish combo. I think it's time for Chris and I to uh, get ready Pack some gear up, pack some food, and uh, go see what we can't find for the evening session. So we've got Conquest MD 400 versus, what's yours? The OG. Conquest 300. OG. Big rods, 11 inch bait, and uh, what's your rod? Mega Black Bass. Ooh. Mega Bass versus Loomis. All right, you go first. <laughs> Pass left or right? I'll get left of this side. Okay, yeah. Here you go. There you go, Spurs. Oh, that's too deep, eh? I didn't even load it, good mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh! Snap! Alright, round two. Winner! Number <laughs> one to me. <laughs> Paper, scissors, rock. I'm scared now because that was hard for me to do. Was it? <laughs> nah. It's like the distance. Uh, this is gonna end real bad. <laughs> Wait, do it. <laughs> that was loaded. Okay, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh. oh no no no! Oh, oh. still one just. Oh, and I'm snapped. <laughs> oh no, she's out. I nearly got a backlash. <laughs> That's round two. Yeah. If it's best from three, that means I'll win yeah, already. We'll go one more. Go one more, yeah, just in case we didn't get one or something. Just gonna... Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah I haven't even loosened mine yet. That's gone, oh, brother. That's gone. Oh, I got you then by oh, about 10 metres. Oh, <laughs> oh, well. Well done. 
Back is best out of three. Got a few tinas, but not very good. What are you doing there, mate? Uh, you had to get stuck and mm -hmm. I had to... I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Been driving boats long or? Crunch. Fast day. Uncle Fester. Look at that. First blood. I shouldn't say blood. First meat. <laughs> what do you reckon? Beauty, mate. I reckon your headband's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> nice chunky one to start the session. Well, you started the session with one off the bank, but almost 88, little fatty. <sighs> and do it like sideways. Yep. Yeah. Come right down here. <sighs> trying to get you in it too. No, don't worry about me. <laughs> no one wants to see me. Hey there. He's so angry, eh? He's ready to. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I copped it hard. <laughs> yeah, hey, baby. Well done, man. Well done. <laughs> Finally. Stop <it> Darren. <laughs> Can that GoPro come off easily? Uh, yeah, just lift the rubber bit up. Mm -hmm. He's upside down, he's, oh he might be close. 90 something? Yeah. Big dog. Way bigger than yesterday. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Woo. Yeah, be. I'm shaking. Can't believe he finally ate it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Big fella. <laughs> I'm just gonna lift him here and then I'll get him out. Yeah, man. <laughs> Not bad. Reckon he's gonna go? Maybe just. I hate that. I caught two the other week. Right on. Don't lip grips. No. Be careful because he'll roll from that point. <laughs> wow. In there. It's a bucket. Look at it. I just rigged that literally. So good. The salvo. Do you want me to get it? You right? Yep. <laughs> mm. I was like, I don't want to wear that. <laughs> Not your colour? Not in my skin, no. I reckon he's going to go close. Yeah, man. <laughs> Skinny, though. I came here for the Giants. <laughs> That's all right. <sighs> what are you calling it before I do it? 98. Oh. <laughs> what is it? I have a 97, so oh, That's alright. <laughs> Flip him over, he'll go another two centimetres. <laughs> yeah. 98. He's not the beast that we came for, but it's a start. Bigger than yesterday's start, eh? It's a good fish, man. <laughs> What the hell? Done a net him yourself or me? Yeah, I can do it probably. Playing up. He's bigger than mine. He's way bigger. That's what I'm saying. That's fair. <laughs> oh, he's choked that thing. Yeah, I'll get him. Yep. 
<laughs> Whoa! Yeah, yeah. It's good when a plan comes together. Yeah. Wow, bro. One, 105 or something? 107? Yeah. Repair. You got the net? Yeah. It's like it's 50 centimeters in that net. Yeah. Damn. How'd you get him on? Sicario. Big prototype. Ooh. Oh, yep. It's pinned. Uh, might need me little lip grips, man. Just because he'll go crazy. On the conquest. That's a 10 inch bait. It's not even past the barb. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I was lucky. <laughs> Very lucky. Get the size time. of that lure. <clears throat> Conquest. Take the grips out of the way. Yep. What are you calling him for? Um, 102. Nah, he's only a pup. 98. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow, well, he's so big though. A little bit of a fatty. Just fat, right? Eh? Well, what do you think? Good fish. Just drop him down a little bit so I can see you. No, level him. Yep. Drop him a whole lot down. Yep. Talk, mate. It's <laughs> come up and smoked it. Didn't muck around. Oop, that one's up. Very <laughs> graceful one. <laughs> Cheers, man. Well done, mate. Thanks, brother. Yes. Take your hand off, baby. I swear it. Yeah. Big one? Not bad. Oh, he swung around on that quick, eh? Yeah, well, he chased me and then he just wasn't keen. So we got him so Maybe 90. Moving. Oh, we found him, brother. <laughs> A lot of effort's gone into these couple of fish. Not bad on the pinky. <laughs> yeah. Nice work, mate. Thanks, bro. Oh. Yeah, he's not bad. He's good. Little chunk. Looks little in the big net. Oh, let's get him out and see if he's moving around at the moment. Yep. It's a big one. Yeah. Big turn the whole boat oh. back. Well done, mate. Where? <laughs> it's not messy, son. <laughs> oh, watch out for the grip. That's good. You may have hooked him funny. That's alright. He's proper sulking. What is that? Sulking. He's good fish. Yeah. Coming. Oh, yep. Got him? Yeah. Yes. Oh, baby. He's a giant. Baby. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. He's a giant, bro. I'm my This is what I bought it for. Man, look at the size of your fish compared to mine. <laughs> Hang on. I'm shaking. Oh, dude. Yours will eat mine. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Tear in the net. This net makes everything look so small. You'll see when we hold them up oh, in a second. Oh, God. Wow. My knees, bro. Dude. Oh, well done. Oh, thank you. We tried so hard for that fish. I'm so oh. glad we got that. <laughs> he was heavy. I felt the net like, oh, sump and bend a bit. I'm like, oh, crap. Did you feel the boat steer yeah ripped us around oh, I, man, I thought pulling... you nearly fell out i'm like oh no you're pulling drag everything that's sick you thought i nearly fell out i thought you're going over yeah i'm like oh, oh no <laughs> i'll lift mine out by hand get some quick pickies and then we'll get yours in wow yours is not little hey huh? it's okay <laughs> turn your headlamp off i'll take it off How good is that? With the head on it. Belly. It's a bit like you this one. That's what that was yeah. me and you in the net. Fat boy. <laughs> that was you and me in the net. <laughs> oh, just drop him down there so I can see your face. <laughs> Happy or? Yeah, mate. Makes it all worth it. What did Rod say? Two weeks it'll take? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't get cheeky. That's good. Wow. All That's right. <laughs> Big little. <laughs> Big bait <laughs> for big fish. Oh yeah. What's that 11 inch? 11 inch. <laughs> Around. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna get, all right, take the camera away for a second. Is it recording? Yep. Yeah, let's go, go down low. Go down on here. They can see how big it is. <laughs> wow. Right. Absolute tank. Oh, yeah. We need to get your weight, weight on this fish too, yeah, man. Right. Should we get a couple of picks then? Mm -hmm. It's heavy. Is it recording? Seventy three, eh? Um, seventy three point seven four. <sighs> <laughs> 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 so beautiful, isn't it? Here we go. All right, you ready? That's what we came to do. It's not a tear, I have an itchy eye. Well, I can't believe we ticked all the boxes. I finally got that big hippopotamus that I wanted. Extra oversized fish, 70, almost 74 pounds of fish. That's ridiculous. Christened the Conquest, which was exactly why I bought that reel. And the swim bait rod, that's why I bought that big swim bait rod because I knew Chris had these big 11 inch prototype baits and I wanted to be able to have something to throw it on comfortably. We've had our fair share of follows and interest and anxiety with your heart coming out your chest. <laughs> and we did it. We had a couple of goals we wanted to do. One was get a double fish. Um, like two at the same time. So it's not really a double hookup when you're fishing like this, but we netted Chris's while he was sort of out. I jumped back on the pole and we ended up with a double, which is incredible. So Chris is a little bit sad because his wasn't as big, but <laughs> we caught our fish doppelgangers. It's like me and him, except I'm not as fat as my fish actually. That's not very nice. <laughs> anyway, that was ridiculous. I um I can't I still can't believe it. Hot as we're in jumpers now. 
not even cold. We've had, we got to bed I think 11 last night, woke up again at 3.30ish. A couple of hours sleep, I literally had like an hour 45 the night before and um, today will be a well deserved nana nap. Well unfortunately tonight got rained out. We, um, it's not so much the rain that bothers us, we don't want fishing in the rain but the rain plus the wind <coughs> Makes it a little bit difficult, but the like fish and the bait and everything is completely different. So when it's windy, obviously the bait's not going to be up near the surface and mooching around and flicking and so on like like it typically does. And not having that, I guess, changes the position of the cod because we didn't see hardly any cod in the first couple of hours, which is when we were seeing the majority. So we decided we'd pull the pin and uh, see what the morning looks like. But Everybody loves when I run through the fishing tackle, so this is a very special trip for me and the tackle involved was also very special. Firstly, show you the bait. 11 inch bait. I knew the opportunity to catch a PB fish was there for me and I really wanted to have some equipment for that. Not so much that my other combos can't handle that, it's, um, I don't know how best to describe it, it's like, there's certain things I've always wanted in my life, Calcutta being one of them, and I've never ran a Loomis rod. So, at the thought of catching my personal best, maybe either weight or size-wise Murray Cod, I really wanted to have like that trophy dream tackle, if that makes sense. It's the Calcutta Conquest. Those power handles, are just dreamy. Two massive power handles so you're not looking for them during the cast. The rod G Loomis IMX Pro. I just want to highlight to people or explain like this combo that I have here the rod, the reel, not so much the bait but the rod and the reel is a dream combination tackle. Ultimate high-end top-of-the-line tackle it is not something that I needed to have to catch these fish or you need to have to catch these fish that I wanted myself for this particular trip to target a giant and I just wanted everything to be like I don't know how best to describe it but that's why I went through and got this tackle and fortunately enough for me all the stars aligned and caught my heaviest Murray Cod ever. Yeah. <laughs> Day time! Go to the fish, go to the fish. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Where hell? Look at that. Beast. Actually, I forgot you don't talk when the camera's on. What <laughs> <laughs> you think there? Uh, yeah, not bad effort. Oh, yeah? Not bad. <laughs> Explain what's going on. Why are we back here? Well, it pissed down rain and we pulled the pin virtually. <laughs> The boat was getting drenched, all the gear was getting drenched. I was, uh, I was 30 minutes away. Yeah, <laughs> we'd made a trip home and seen the radar and thought, nah, better turn around, go back, have another look, and it's been all worth it. What happened? Well, let's weigh him and release him. Blue sky, fat greeny. Action? What's action? You're in action, baby. Hang on, I'm Chris. Say it again. Action. <gasps> Look like a stunned mullet. <laughs> Are you talking now you're on the back end of the game? Yeah, I'm the real man here, not you. Right, let's see. Look at it. It's actually quite big. It is. <laughs> it's not walrus, walrus, but... No, it's pretty big, bro. You want some pliers? Yep. 
You know what I mean or not really? No, nah, not really. Careful, you're gonna go sick. Just stop that there. This is the exact same RT shirt that I caught my 120 on. Roll it on your knees. <laughs> that would make an awesome photo, that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Ripper. <laughs> Worth the time. Oh, I reckon. Ready? Mm hmm. Let's wait. Can you see 66, it? 66, 67. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. Look at that bucket, bro. Go right down there. Buddy, thanks for that. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> okay, it's ready. Me for a change. <laughs> well done, mate. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I don't really know what to say. That was amazing. And considering the size of that fish, we've seen so many bigger than that, and that thing's ridiculous. <laughs> don't know what to say. Very happy I came back. Came back out. It was um, terrible rain, it's late in the morning. It's like, what's the time now? It's quarter past one. Yeah. We haven't had a proper break. Oh, I had porridge, had a bit of breakfast. We've had no lunch. I got half an hour, 40 minutes away. Came back, and back on the water. And just caught myself a literally a midday cod. Jammed a big dog. First thing to catch fish was Molex RT Shad, white, one ounce jig head. That's on my 300 Tranks and my Tika Premium Swim Bait Rod. Main reason for that bait is it's a smaller, subtler presentation that I can quickly and easily get to those fish if they're not moving to the big bait. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate you watching along with my videos. I really enjoy the Murray Cod stuff and I can see that you guys do as well. It's just something about it, where you are, what you do, the experience. Um, it's not like it's, these creatures are massive. They're, um, I guess you're sort of in awe of them a lot. And although you can catch them, they're not 
something that is easily caught, you know, at certain hours required to be put in, certain times of the day, certain weather, winter sometimes. So it's very special and I appreciate you guys watching and tuning in and um, I'll see you all in the next one.